playing a game. Okay, so today we're playing a game that I have always wanted to play. The Stanley Parable. And now that it's released on Switch, I can actually play it. Don't ask why I'm using a plush as my stand. I don't know why either. Okay. Ultra Deluxe is a... Uh... Is the game loading? Um... Develop, uh, developed by Chris Chris Chris. Written by David... I like subtitles. I am in English. I... Have you played the Stanley Parable before? No. That? Please enter the... Uh, wait. Uh, what time is it? It is 7.34. Uh. Uh. Da, 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 uh. Is it still 7.34? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. I don't care. Where the heck can I start playing the game? Okay. God, more loading screen. Okay. You are playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Well, let's begin the... Is, is that computer playing the Stanley Parable? Which is also 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 playing the Stanley Parable? The end is never the end is... Never the end is loading. Never. Uh, the end is never the end is never the end is not... Is never the end is never I don't know. Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in the okay. where he was employee, employee number, number four two seven. Employee number four two seven. Okay. Job was simple. It was simple. Okay. And he pushed buttons on the Okay. Orders came to him through a Uh why is it telling him what buttons uh, Push it in and in what order? This is what employee four to seven every day, uh, every, every month, month every, every year. year. And others, I don't care. Because it is. Okay. What was he made for this job? I wouldn't be happy working in an office building. And then one day, something very peculiar. It happened. So Stanley would Parable. Forever change Stanley. Okay. Something he would never quite know. forget. Okay. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one just... single order had yeah, arrived on the monitor for him to follow. follow. No one had showed up to give uh, him instructions. Call a meeting. Or or even say hi. Never in uh, all his years at the company had uh, this happened. This complete I isolation. See. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for, for the, the longest moment. time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. What if I don't? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> what if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? I'm not doing these, I just have the icon drift. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought, okay. is to wait. Nothing I'm doing this, sir. Nothing will break me. And here I can be happy forever. I'm going I through to... Stanley waited. Yes, I Hours am. passed. Then days. Had years gone by? I can't... I no longer have the ability to tell. Okay. But the one sure, beyond any doubt, <laughs> was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Yeah, definitely. Eventually, someday, they will uh, arrive. yeah, definitely. Soon, very soon now, this uh, will end. He will be spoken to. to. He will be told what, what to, to do. do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now 
it's even closer. Yeah. Here it comes. What? The, the, what just happened? The end is never, the end is never, the end is loading now. Uh, ever, the end is never, the end is never, the end is loading now. Uh. Okay. All of his co workers were gone. Thing. What could it mean? Where Stanley are decided first? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Did I miss a memo? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. This is gonna be something, isn't it? <laughs> Narrator's funny. There has to be something with these computers. Awaiting input. Uh, um, okay. Uh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered that this was not the correct way to the meeting hmm. room. And Stanley My joy contract chose for me. I just knew I was going to do something, first, and I did it. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me in. Uh, ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Or not, because I am my own person. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I probably should have listened to him. Stanley, I think Can I walk? On the wrong foot here. I'm not your I don't. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the uh, story is oh God. I broke my legs. I have broken my legs. Oh God. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks okay. you are very powerful. powerful. I shouldn't have done that, should I? Okay. There's so there has to be something with those computers. Stanley, Stanley. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps, Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Do they ever exist? Is the narrator one of his co-workers? Am I thinking big brain or am I just stupid? Hey, I'm hitting the computer. Input received. I'm not moving, Joy-Con drift. My Joy-Con drift was going very slowly. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I'm not Perhaps Stanley. Stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous You can room. crouch, yes. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took was there the first more? open door on his left. Ooh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I cannot jump, but I can do this. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. And I'm not Stanley, I'm really, I'm not. Your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? No. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. 
to show you something beautiful. I just don't like you. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. I just don't like now, you. Listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> you want to know so badly what's out there? Yeah. Find out what lies in the <laughs> road. You've chosen the world. Don't let me stop you. Um, you see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Okay. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Well, why'd you tell me? Exposed developer uh, textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yeah. Is it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes, it is. You don't think I put a lot of time into that, because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange Make a game. desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did Anything. you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Vehicles. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. I'll tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. What happens if I go here? I shouldn't have done this, shouldn't I? Oh, at least they're anyways. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Yes. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Let me vote five. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where I like this game. This game is from? fun. How did I know the game needed a third door? You didn't. Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. I will. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Yeah. Perfectly candid. I, I shouldn't have knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh, it's a leaderboard. The Stanley Parable World. Two seconds. It's five seconds, eleven seconds, twelve seconds. Ten twenty one to Oh god. We're getting into the hours, aren't we? I have not played for seven hours on end. It takes me to get to the correct value. Nice, I'm lost no. say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors again honest answers please no no it didn't hey i nearly forgot i've got a prototype of the new game i've been working on Ooh. and now would be a lovely opportunity to did i not just say create a game you wouldn't mind taking a look at it would you perfect let me boot it up i hate my joy conjure the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never and this game, oh no the baby crawls left Oh no, don't do it, baby. Don't do it, baby. Don't do it, baby. Don't do it, baby. Baby, no! Don't do it, baby! No! Baby! Baby, no, baby, no, baby, 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 no, baby, no, baby, no, baby, baby, baby. Baby, no! Baby. Oh my god, is this game legit? God. God. I didn't want to do that for four hours. It wasn't awful. Just to ease the pain. 
Wait, what? 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 Uh, what? Uh, uh, I accidentally did something. I accidentally did something wrong. Uh, legit, I uh, like I've seen people play this. I just forgot the routes. I don't know what to do at all. I'm accidentally doing this. I'm sorry, babe. What game is this? Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? What is this game? Well, it seems obvious to me that you're uh... a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. What is this game? Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of two. I didn't want to kill the baby. So far, I'm sorry. I just I'm gonna cry. Like legit, I did Is that the Minecraft door opening sound? Okay, can I jump? I still can't jump. Is this a game about hunting ducks? Gasoline. I'm legit gonna cry. I know it's just an animatronic baby, but I, I, I didn't want to do it, but I didn't want to play that game for four hours. It can't be what? What is this game? It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly, block it off. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. No. Block it off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, mm -hmm. no path to follow. You can just go in any... What is this game? Oh, uh, heavens, we are fighting. Is this new? Cause like I've seen this route, I just forgot how to get it, and I don't remember this. Uh... Minecraft? What about Minecraft? Maybe even Portal? Uh... Okay, um... I do not know any of this. What is this? <gasps> it's, uh, yeah, this stuff definitely is new. This is Rocket League. Uh, haha. -ha. Rocket League, okay. Uh, this, this is new. I definitely... Uh... Why is Rocket League here? There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Yes. Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. What the heck is sports ball? run the bases and do a touchdown together? Yeah, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley. I've been going for a 21 minute. Why am I friends with a Japanese person? Like, I don't want to be rude, but why? What team am I? And why is Rocket League here? When I saw this game, there was Minecraft. Yeah, this is Rocket League. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Yes. Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Yes. Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist. But if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls oh, no. for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Oh God! What are you doing? I didn't mean to. Oh God! Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Help! Follow me. You write a story without me. You can't do it. You know that. I didn't mean to. What have I done? Can I go back? Can I go back now? Where am I?
This is scaring me. I don't like this. Where's the flash? That doesn't help at all. Light. Have I done something good? No, because I haven't found another. Ooh. Narrator. I'm scared. Look, I'm just going to restart. Go back to where I was. Because, like, I don't know what to do. I'll go back to that point. Minecraft. So there's this new game in Rocket League. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Okay, these, we this is the new. and do a touchdown together? Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Yes. Is it better than my miserable little story that I work so hard on? Yes. Stanley, I have a thought, and I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. Oh, God. So what happens? Does it end when there's no more balls? Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Yeah. Is this a real video game? Yeah, I actually think sure it is. It's called Rocket it, League. Guess what? It's over. No! That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. Actually, you, you didn't develop fun, this game. Stanley. Besides, you Narrator. need someone like me to set boundaries for you. No, I don't. Rules or boundaries. Video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you'd like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. It's you're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Coming back. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? Okay. You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. 
Fine. Uh, we'll do other endings because I have no idea what else to do. Uh, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stanley walked downstairs. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Am I real? The doors closed automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar when he simply repeated. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. But at last, he came to the conclusion that it had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Uh, he yelled. This is all a dream. Definitely. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. Yeah, definitely. Actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go um, back to my boring room. I feel okay. relaxed. I may as well enjoy this relaxed. Uh, yeah, so, most better, likely. He began to gently float about the ground. What? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing oh, yeah. itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Odd. And when he thought it all really odd, and wondered if it was listening to all people in their dreams, the truth was that of course, this was not a dream. How could it is this Stanley's voice? Is this Stanley talking in third person in his mind? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now hearing the voice speak these words was quite shocked to Stanley. <laughs> After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not seem flow to make a magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. It's not... So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. What? The of the mattress back. Is this a dream? The fresh air of the world outside this one. Is... Is this a dream? He thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. It's not a dream, Stanley. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. Yes, what? All wife? I want in my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. You have a wife? I am okay. No, you're not. Stanley. Stanley, what? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I'm real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? Huh? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Okay. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man. What? Who stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. Uh... I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. How? The man? And she remembered the she had scheduled for dead. the day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Oh. Oh. <coughs> okay, so that's where I'm going to end this video. Getting the so-called Stanley Dead ending. Raw gameplay. Oh, yeah, I also got that uh, ending where I just closed the door. So, goodbye, my Johns.